This episode of Against the Odds is brought to you by Card Kingdom. To pick up the deck and support the show, follow the link in the description box down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds. So last week, we had another All Rivals of Ixalan Against the Odds Bowl, and in the end, it was Polyraptor coming out on top. So this week, we are heading to Rivals of Ixalan Standard to see how many Polyraptors we can make, maybe even have them come down with a skill our opponent out of nowhere. So that's our plan for today, just Polyraptor it up. A quick reminder before we break down Polyraptor for Standard. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy Against the Odds in general, it would be amazing of you. If you could take a quick second, click that subscribe button down in the corner of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Polyraptor Wombo Combo for Standard, starting off with Polyraptor itself. So we've talked about this card a few times in various videos and articles, basically for 8 mana you get a 5-5, however, it has an enrage ability where whenever it is dealt damage, you get a token that's a copy of Polyraptor. So if you play Polyraptor, Lightning Bolt it, you get another Polyraptor. The idea of this deck is to make a whole bunch of Polyraptors. We can't actually go infinite and make an infinite number of Polyraptors, at least with our main deck, but we can make uh, around 7 Polyraptors because our plan is to use Forerunner of the Empire to tutor up our Polyraptor, and then what happens is we cast our Polyraptor, Forerunner of the Empire is going to ping our Polyraptor for damage, makes another Polyraptor, Dinosaur enters, triggers Forerunner of the Empire again, pings our two Polyraptors to make four Polyraptors, and the end result of this is Forerunner of the Empire is going to kill itself, but we are going to end up with seven Polyraptors on the battlefield, 35 power and toughness across seven bodies, which basically says, opponent, either you have a settle the wreckage, you have a fumigate, something along those lines, or you're gonna die to Polyraptor next turn. Better yet, if we have our third combo piece, we can actually just kill our opponent right away. We don't even give them a chance to untap, so we can win by surprise. The missing combo piece for the insta-kill with Polyraptor is Regisar Alpha. So Regisar Alpha, the big deal here is it gives all of our dinosaurs haste, so we can obviously use Forerunner to tutor up Registar Alpha if we already have the rest of the combo. If we have the Registar Alpha out when we go into Polyraptor combo, not only are we going to make a ton of Polyraptors, we're also going to wipe away our opponent's board from dinosaurs entering the battlefield. So if they have small creatures, they get pinged to death. The end result is we're not just going to have 35 power and toughness of Polyraptors, they're all going to have haste. So this avoids the Fumigate problem, avoids letting our opponent untap. So that is basically what we're trying to do with this deck. Use our Forerunner of the Empire to primarily tutor up Polyraptor, but also Registar Alpha. Hopefully have a Registar Alpha out, cast Polyraptor, we should just win the game on the spot with Forerunner enraging our Polyraptor to make a ton of Polyraptors, swinging in with all these hasty Polyraptors. That's the plan anyway. The rest of the deck, pretty straightforward. We have a bunch of ramp because that's one of the big challenges of Polyraptor. It's super expensive at 8 mana, so we need to make sure we can accelerate into it in a timely manner. Thunderheart Migration takes advantage of the fact that we have both Polyraptor and Registar Alpha to be a rampant grow sometimes. Worst case, we just cast it for three mana. Treasure map is like pseudo ramp. It's kind of slow ramp. The treasures really do help because sometimes we want to have like 12 mana where we can cast Forerunner and Polyraptor in the same turn to avoid some of our opponent's counters and removal. And treasure map helps us get there by making treasures. Plus, it gives us the ability to just sack treasures. Sack treasures to draw through our deck, find our Forerunners, find our Registar Alphas, find our Polyraptors, and win the game. Moving up the ramp curve, we also have four Gift of Paradise, just adds an extra mana, gains us some life, and then our promise gets us from five mana up to Polyraptor mana the next turn, while also letting us tutor out some deserts to make some zombies for chump blocking, just to kind of slow the opponent down, so really key ramp piece for our deck. The rest of the deck, we got a Braid, Sweltering Sun, Our Devastation, as removal. Braid really key because it hits God Pharaoh's Gift, hits Heart of Kirin, all those annoying artifacts. Sweltering Sun's Our Devastation just to sweep away all of our opponent's stuff. Our kill is pretty 
slow. We're looking to win with an eight mana card. So being able to slow down the game a little bit with sweepers is really important. Mana base wise, the spiciest cards we have in the mana base are the desert. So especially Endless Sands. Endless Sands is kind of actually a combo piece to some extent. The idea here is we get down our Endless Sands and then let's say we cast our Forerunner of the Empires. Our opponent goes to kill it. We can just exile it. Then we cast our Register Alpha. Our opponent goes to kill it. We can exile it. Then we cast our Polyrab. Our opponent goes to kill it. We can exile it. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, we can just spend four mana and dump all of our combo pieces onto the battlefield at once, win the game out of nowhere without our opponent expecting it. And since we have Hour of Promise, even though it's just a one of, we can tutor it up really regularly. So it's actually really key to the deck. Scavenger Grounds, another tutor target lets us deal with graveyards. Oasis and Rivulet are basically just deserts that we can sack to Scavenger Grounds. Maybe pumping our Polyraptors is helpful, but pretty much just more deserts to support Hour of Promise. A few of the cycling deserts as well, just to keep the desert count high. Uh, Shelter Thick at Rootbound Craig is dual lands, a bunch of basic lands. As far as the sideboard, really straightforward. We have four Sand Stranglers and two Hour of Devastations to bring in against Aggro to, as more removal. For control, Heroic Intervention actually lets us go infinite, infinite. If we can make our Polyraptors and our Foreigner of the Empires indestructible, then we can make even more Polyraptors because the Forerunner is not going to kill itself after three damage, but it's mostly just to protect against Fumigates and other things like that. Negate to fight counter battles, and then one more Dino Tutor up. One of the downsides of Polyraptor is it is very counterable, and tapping out for an eight mana Polyraptor only to have it get hit by Essence Scatter or something is pretty annoying, so we can bring in Nizalo the Primal Tide to give us an uncounterable way to win the game in control matchups. We still have our Polyraptor combo, but since we have Forerunner for a tutor, we just bring in some Nizalos, tutor them up if we're worried about counter spells, and try to win the game that way, or worst case, hopefully draw a bunch of cards and find a way to negate and use our counter spells to force through the Polyraptor combo, thanks to all the cards Nizal can draw us. And that is Polyraptor combo for standard, and that's our against the odds deck for this week. So, is this deck going to work? Ah, we'll have to see. I'm not 100% sure. I feel like the downside of Polyraptor is it's super slow. Just 8 mana is a lot, and if we're not comboing with Polyraptor, it's not really that exciting. Just like a 5-5 five, five for 8, we really need at least 2 and hopefully 3 Polyraptors for it to really be worth it. We can just like abrade our own Polyraptor or Sweltering Suns to make more Polyraptor but it's really only good when we're comboing off, and at 8 mana, it's pretty expensive. Good news is we get tons of ramp. Registrar Alpha, good at just gumming up the board. We got a bunch of sweepers. Our promise gives us chump blockers, so we do a reasonable job of stalling out, so we'll have to see. I'm hopeful that we're going to get the Polyraptor combo kill at least a few times, but how consistently it happens, probably going to depend on the matchups. If we draw badly, can definitely get run over by aggro decks and just get off to fast starts while we're kind of dirtling around trying to get to our 8-drop, but regardless, it should be super sweet when we pull it off, so hopefully we pull it off sooner or later. Anyway, that's our Against the Odds deck for this week, Polyraptor Combo for Standard. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoy the gameplay videos, and I will talk to you soon. If you're looking for a fashionable way to support the channel, make sure to check out the Ixalan t-shirt over at mtgoldfishmerch.com. Alright, Against the Odds time. Playing some Polyraptor Wombo Combo in Standard. And we'll keep this. I mean, we don't have any combo pieces, but we got some ramp. Got some removal. Oh, Murph, okay. All right, we got sweepers for that. Um, let's just mount and go. We can kill a Lord next turn, which is good. Unclaimed territory. Merfolk. Deeper delete. All right, well, we can kill that. Opponent gets in for one with the Miscloak Herald. Well, that's Rootbound Craig, and we will just kill Deep Root Elite. And chip the turn. Well, we got a Polyraptor now. Unclaimed Territory number two. Also on Merfolk. Opponent. River Sneak. Man, this is like unblockable Merfolk. Man, Sweltering Suns would be so spectacular. Opponent gets in. 4-1. Well, play the Forest. And Gift of Paradise. And pass the turn. Uh, so an untapped land would be nice. Man, Oh boy. If we can find our Forerunner, that seems insane against this board. Silver Gill Adept reveals Branch Walker. Pumps the River Sneak. Come on, Sweltering Suns! Hour of Devastation, one time! One time! It would be so helpful. Opponent gets in. Back down to 18. Passes. Oh dear. Well, let's cycle 
sheltered thicket. Hmm. Cycle desert. Play Oasis, pass the turn. Oh, man. That was kind of not what we were hoping for. Another river sneak. Pumps the dorks. Gets in for a lot. Down to 13. Well, man, if they're playing main deck spell pierces, our promise, get desert and desert. Get some zombies, pass the turn. Ah, oh, these river sneaks. They are sneaking over and dealing a lot of damage. Four is for our opponent. Branch Walker pumps the dorks, goes exploring, gets an island. And Kumana Speaker pumps the dorks, gets in for seven. <laughs> okay, yeah, we take it. Come on, Sweeper. Down to six. Rivulet. Well, play Rivulet. Play Gift of Paradise. And we just got to pass. This is not ideal. Not ideal. Island for our opponent. Deep Root Elite. Pumps the dorks. Branch Walker goes exploring. Uh, if our opponent's last card is Blossoming Defense, I think we're dead. Blossoming Defense on top. Yikes. Leaves it on top. Well, let's go for it. If they're holding Blossoming Defense, they're holding Blossoming Defense. All right, so we live. Just barely. Uh, they have Unsummon. All right, well, we're going to survive it one life. I can't believe they didn't use that Blossoming Defense. I'm very confused. All right, so we block. We block. We drop to one. And we hope like crazy. We draw a Forerunner. We draw a Sweeper. Come on, deck. Hour of Promise. Our promise does not hold any promise here, and we're dead. So bring in all this removal. Sand Stranglers, bring in the rest of the Hour of Devastations. So I think we gotta go down a Polyraptor. Go down one Hour of Promise, one Regisar Alpha. Maybe we go three Sand Stranglers, two Treasure Maps, try it like that. All right, we're on the play. No red mana, or green mana. Yeah, let's mulligan. All right, we got the ramp, we got no sweepers. We will keep the abrade, play a desert, and pass the turn. We have so many sweepers in our deck now, we should eventually draw one of them. Unclaimed territory for our opponent. And Kumana Speaker. Well, play Endless Sands, pass the turn. Another unclaimed territory for our opponent. And a Branch Walker. Silvergill on top. Well, kill Kumana Speaker. Play Rootbound Craig. Pass the turn. Well, we're not drawing sweepers, but at least we're drawing a braids. Island. Opponent. Gets in for three. Well, we will take it. And Silver Gill. Reveals Miss Cloak Herald. Draws a card. And there's a Miss Cloak Herald. Well, I guess we're gonna kill Branch Walker. Draw Desert. Alright, Gift of Paradise. Unfortunately on a non-basic. Play Oasis, pass the turn. Oasis for our opponent. And there's the Lord. Gets in for five. Yep. And Miss Cloak Herald. Well, come on, Sweeper. Regisar Alpha. Uh, I guess we just gotta do that. Play Regisar Alpha. At least this gets us kind of some blockers. Play the Desert, pass the turn. Another Branch Walker. Finds a Charter Course. Leaves it on top. Plays a land. Gets in for four. Okay. Down to 11. Opponent passes. Well, that's Hour of Promise. Get, um, I guess just Rootbound Craig and Rootbound Craig. And pass the turn. We still really got to draw a Sweeper, though. We're having a very hard time with that. Opponent gets in for four. Draws two. Which are, of course. Deep Root Elite. Opponent passes. Ah, oh, deck, 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 deck. Play Oasis, pass the turn. Well, I guess it just wasn't meant to be this go around, boys and girls. Wasn't meant to be. Oh, Polyraptor. But, uh, yeah. What can you do? What can you do? Opponent, more lords. Lord City over there. Well, kill the Miss Cloak Herald. <laughs> All right. And opponent decides that just Miss Cloak Herald would be fine. Sure. Gets in for three. Well, come on, deck. It's a treasure map, and we scoop it up. All right. Against odds time, we are looking to make some polyraptors in standard. And no polyraptors, but we got some ramp. We got some removal. We got a treasure map to smooth out our draw. So I think this is fine. Swamp for our opponent, and passes. Well, rootbound Craig Goo. Thunder Migration's not bad. Another swamp for our opponent. And passes. 
Ooh, there's Polyraptor. All right, we're getting closer. So let's just Thundered Migration, reveal Regis, our alpha. Grab a mountain, pass the turn. Opponent, more swamps, and passes. So let's treasure map, play Oasis, pass the turn. Dragon Skull Summit for our opponent. And I have no idea what our opponent's deck's doing. Let's treasure map Scry. Migration, I guess we keep it. So, Thunderheard Migration, reveal Regisar, grab a forest, and pass the turn. Well, let's scry with treasure map. Um, I think we want an untapped land. So let's put Shelter Thicket to the bottom. Stop on our upkeep, scry with treasure map. Thunderheard Migration to the bottom. Flip. All right, there's untapped land. So Rivulet, and now we'll just Hour of Promise. And we will take Endless Sands plus desert of the indomitable get some zombies past the turn endless hands is also pretty good at protecting our combo pieces if it comes down to it so if our opponent taps out we can just make a bunch of polyraptors bone end gets in well we'll take it down to 18 and passes well let's start with regisar alpha and i guess we get him with the zombies opponent's got to have a ton of removal in hand hit our opponent and pass the turn Ravenous Chupacabra. Oh boy, we are close. Save our Regisar Alpha. Man, I don't know if we have quite enough mana to win next turn. Opponent kills our dinosaur. All right, so I think we're just going to make a ton of Polyraptors. <laughs> we won't have Regisar Alpha to kill our opponent instantly, but just making a board full of poly Polyraptors should be enough. We have enough mana to Forerunner into Polyraptor. Opponent not attacking. That's fine. All right, so we play the forest. Start with Forerunner. Um, I don't think we need to tutor. And now we'll just Polyraptor. Make a a couple of Polyraptors. Sag our treasures. Polyraptor coming down. And this is what we were uh, trying to set up. <laughs> Pings everything. Yes, please. Triggers Polyraptor. Makes a Polyraptor. Up to two Polyraptors. Pings everything. Oh, man, this is it. This is it. This is exactly it. Kill our opponent's stuff. We will make a few more Polyraptors. We do lose our Forerunner this time, unfortunately. Oh, man, we were pretty close to doing it with Haze, too. More Polyraptors. So, end result, seven Polyraptors. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we'll pass the turn. Can you deal with seven Polyraptors, opponent? <laughs> uh, things are looking up. Things are looking up. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Well, I'm not sure exactly what our opponent's playing. Some sort of Grixis midrange, but that went pretty well. Maybe we go on Hour of Devastation. Probably bring in a couple Nezalls. Why can't I say this? Nezalall. Nezalall. All right, we're going to go with that. Nezalalls. <laughs> Maybe go down Sweltering Suns for a couple of Negates. And maybe just try it like that, I guess. All right, so we're on the draw, and oh boy. Well, we don't really have a finisher, but we have a lot of ramp. And if this is a control match, I think we actually just want to try to ramp into Nazalo. Forest go. Our promise is also pretty sweet. Tap land for our opponent. I'll play Rootbound Craig, and let's just Thundered Migration. Reveal Regisar Alpha. Grab a island. Pass the turn. Opponent. Field of Ruin. Oh, Drake Haven. Interesting. That's not what we expected. Oh, play Oasis. Play Thunderherd Migration. Reveal Regisar. Grab a mountain. Play Thunderherd Migration. Reveal Regisar. Get a forest. Pass the turn. Swamp for our opponent. Cycles. We took out most of our sweepers. Actually, like, all of our sweepers. I guess Forerunner is kind of a sweeper. And passes. Let's gift to Paradise. Hopefully there's no spell pierce issues. Play Hour of Promise. Get a Endless Sands and Desert of the Mindful. And we'll just pass the turn. Lost Legacy. Ooh. All right. So our opponent's going to get rid of our Polyraptor. So good thing we brought in is all all as a backup. Yep. Polyraptor's down. Opponent. Passing. Well, let's get in with our zombies. 
Opponent blocks. Yep. Play Forerunner. Tutor up Nizalo. And pass the turn. We're going to hold cards in hand so we can make sure we can protect our Nizalo. Ravenous Chupacabra. Yep. Going after Forerunner. Well, we will just Endless Sands it. Opponent passes. Well, let's get in with our zombie. Opponent blocks. And let's get down to Zolo. And pass the turn. Now our opponent's got to beat a Nizalo somehow. Chupacabra is annoying, but we can save stuff with Endless Sands. Chupacabra. Alright, so Exile Nizalo. Opponent passes. Man, do we just go for it? We can sack Endless Sands. Let's not yet. Let's just Registar Alpha. Get a Hasty Dino. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. Play Rootbound Craig. Pass the turn. So if our opponent tries to Field of Ruin, we can just sack Endless Sands and get all of our stuff back. All right, opponent's going for it. So that means we got to sack Endless Sands, get back our stuff. No damage. Tutor up another Registar Alpha. Opponent needs something pretty spectacular not to lose to this. Gifted Aetherborn. Not sure that's enough. Opponent passes. So we draw Regisar. Play Regisar. Everything has haste. Ping ping. Actually, I think we're one point of damage short. And our opponent scoops it up. Sweet. Well, uh, yeah. We we even won with our main combo piece getting hit by Lost Legacy. So, uh, Polyraptors. Score one for uh, the Dinos. All right, against the odds time, playing some Polyraptor combo in standard, and we'll give this a shot. We got a couple combo pieces. Glacial Fortress, all right. Uh, yes, let's Desert Go. Opponent, Planes, and Passes. Well, let's Forest and Treasure Map. All right, Resolves, that's good news. Ship the turn. Opponent, another Planes. And Champion Wits. Oh! Alright, this is like Blue White Embalm. Gets rid of two islands. And passes. Uh, Thunderhood Migration. Reveal Registar Alpha. Get a mountain. Play Rootbound Craig. And pass the turn. Start scrying. Opponent. Island. Gets in with Champion. So, oh, does not. Why would they not attack? Well, let's scry with Treasure Map. Well, we're gonna keep Forerunner. That is one of the pieces we want. Play Oasis. Hmm. Let's just pass the turn. We mostly want to flip Treasure Map and also find Hour of Devastation to get Endless Sands. Another land for our opponent. Angel of Invention. Is this a really weird God Pharaoh gift draw? Makes the servos. No attacks. All right, let's scry with Treasure Map. Forest to the bottom. A Braid Angel. Untap. Scry with treasure map. Sheltered thicket to the bottom. Play Rivulet. And I think we're just going to Hour of Promise. Hour of Promise, get some lands, get some zombies. So grab Endless Sands and Scavenger Ground. Pass the turn. And now we might be in pretty good shape, actually. We got all three of our combo pieces. And we have our protection. And if it's God Pharaoh's Gift, Scavenger Grounds is relevant. Sacred Cat. All right, definitely God Pharaoh's Gift. Opponent passes. Let's play Forerunner. Um, no tutoring. And we're just going to pass. Leave everything up. And hopefully just win next turn. Chart of course. Okay, discards a land. Plays a land. Angel of Invention. Oh, man, we got there. We got there. Whoo, sweet. Okay. Opponent fabricates, makes observos. Well, now we just get to combo off, and I'm pretty sure comboing is good enough. Opponent's going to go attacking, so we will just block, block, block. Man, we need an untap land to, go, to win. Ugh, more Forerunners. All right, well... We don't get to win exactly this turn. We gotta wait one more turn. So we'll just Polyraptor. But this should be enough. Pona's gonna need something pretty sweet. Ping everything. Make another Polyraptor. Uh, yes, please. And yes, we will make a Polyraptor. Ping everything. Uh, yes. Two more Polyraptors. Ping everything. And we will pass the turn. All right, opponent, can you be a million Polyraptors? <laughs> <laughs> With scavenger grounds at the ready in case you have God Pharaoh's gift.
<laughs> oh, the Polyraptors. I guess I could have Fumigate, Chart of Course, Sacred Cat discarded, Chart of Course, and our pulse scoops it up. All right, Poly Polyraptors getting the job done. That was pretty much like what we were hoping would happen. Go down Sweltering Suns for a couple of negates. I guess just try it like that. Well, that is a lot of ramp. Hopefully that'll be good enough. Island for our opponent. And Minister. All right, gonna start getting the graveyard filled. Opponent passes. Well, play the tap land. Wouldn't mind just drawing a dinosaur this turn so we can Thunderherd migration. Glacial Fortress. Opponent passes. Dino? Hour of Promise. All right, play the forest, pass the turn. Well, we're kind of doing it the slow way. Bonnet Mills. All right, Mills Refurbish. We don't mind seeing that mill. If we can get to these Hour of Promises, that gets us protection from graveyard stuff. Ponent passes. Hmm. Oh, lordy. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Well, play Rivulet. We got a ramp here, I think, even though we drew Scavenger Grounds. It's a little greedy, but I think it's worth it. Gift of Paradise. Pass the turn. Hope for no God Pharaoh's gift this exact turn. All right, all lands milled. Also, opponent's out of energy. All right, opponent untaps. Let's see what our opponent does. Plays a Plains and Champion of Wits. Okay, two angels discarded. Opponent gets in. Four, one. What do we draw? Treasure map. Hmm, all right. It's a little greedy, but we're going for it. Hour of Promise. So we will take Endless Sands and a Rootbound Craig. Get some zombies past the turn. Well, there's Minister. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is the way it could go wrong. All right, not going wrong. Opponent passing. Let's Thunderherd Migration. Grab a Mountain. Play Treasure Map. And pass the turn. Now we're going to try to leave up Scavenger Grounds from now until the end of time. Opponent Mills. Another angel. Well, almost all their angels are milled, which is sweet. Rivulet. All right, so they got an angel left. Cast an angel. Pump in the dorks. That's our last angel, though. Make some servos. Attacks, attacks. Uh, let's just kill Minister of Inquiries. Scry with our treasure map. I think we mostly want a sweeper. Gift of Paradise to the bottom. Um, yeah, let's not upkeep Scry. Sheltered Thicket. Well, let's Hour of Promise. Get Desert and Desert. Get some more zombies. And let's just pass. We'll hold on to the Shelter Thicket for now. Opponent goes attacking. Well, block, block, block. Take two. Scry with Treasure Map. Um, all right. We'll keep a braid. Not a sweeper, but it's still good. Cycle, Shelter Thicket. Untap. Gift of Paradise. Hmm. Gift of Paradise. Stop on our opponent's upkeep. Pass the turn. Let's sack Desert of the Indomitable. Get rid of the graveyards. Yep. Opponent mills. Nothing too scary. And mills. All right. Still no God Pharaoh's gift. Plus, we can just abrade the God Pharaoh's gift. I think we're getting there. I think we're kind of getting there. Uh, all right. Let's treasure map. Why our opponent doesn't have cast out mana. Negate to the bottom. Flip treasure map. Opponent gets in for two. Sure. I mean, we're going to find our combo pieces eventually. I think we're just polyraptoring the heck out of God Pharaoh's gift. Down to 21. Opponent's up to 24. Search for his Kanta. Well, let's cycle shelter thicket. Well, let's draw a card. Thunderherd migration. Get a forest. Play treasure map. And pass the turn. I don't even think we care if our opponent flips search for his Kanta, honestly. Opponent, gonna get frisky. Hits us for four. Yep, down to 17. Chart of course. Let's scry. Well, we gotta keep Polyraptor. So let's Regisar Alpha. Get a dino. And I guess we get in with the dino. Hit our opponent. So we're so close. Pass the turn. I mean, next turn we could just like Polyraptor or Braid Polyraptor to make a copy with haste. If we can find our Forerunner, we can get the just straight up combo kill. Strategic planning. Wind negate backup. Mill some stuff. Plays a land. Oh, and gets in with Angel. We will take it. Down to 15. I think we're getting there, though. Scrywood treasure map. All right, we'll keep another abrade. Draw a card. Untap. Upkeep. 
we will scry with treasure map, flip treasure map, register our alpha to the bottom. We want our forerunner is what we really want. Hour of devastation. Well, get in with our dino. Opponent takes it. Yeah, I think we got to pass. Because we need we need a dino to enter the battlefield after we get forerunner. Maybe we should just double abrade it and do it that way. God, Pharaoh's gift. All right, let's negate. Opponent gets in with Angel. Yep. Come on, Forerunner. One time. Oh, we'll have the full kill if we can draw it. Well, sack of treasure, draw a card. Looking for the Forerunner. Island. There it is. Woo, there's Forerunner. All right, we're going for it. Play Forerunner. Resolves. Oh, we did it. We got there. No tutoring. We don't need to tutor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Polyraptor. It's a combo. <laughs> oh, we even got the haste going. Oh, this is exactly it. This is it. This is a combo. Taking down God Pharaoh's gift. Ping everything. Make a polyraptor. Ping everything. Make a polyraptor. Ping everything. Make some polyraptors. They all have haste. Go to combat. And we got it! We got it! The seven hasty- Uh? Uh, unsummon. Opponent. Oh, that is very unfun. Uh, well, we we still kinda did it. Ah, no! Oh, no. Alright, alright, alright. I mean, we're still good. I don't think we can lose, but that was sad. Opponent's going to refurbish the God Pharaoh's gift. Okay. A braid God Pharaoh's gift. Opponent. Oh, I guess they could have settle the wreckage. Well, I mean, we're gonna go for it. If they have settle, they have settle. Go to combat. Attack with all the polyraptors. Do we get there? Jurassic Park. Opponent has settle. Ugh, okay. Grab our mountain. Play Forerunner. Tutor up Polyraptor. Play Registar Alpha. So we're set up to run it back. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it again next turn. Maybe we just have to combo off twice against this deck. Pass the turn. And you stop it again, opponent. Opponent plays a land. Two cards in hand. Champion of Wits. Goes looting. They need another settle or a fumigate. Draws and discards. Discards two God Pharaoh's gifts. They know the Polyraptor's coming. Opponent. Assing. Well, sack the treasure. Draw a Polyraptor. More braids. And we will Polyraptor. Try it again. Do we get him this time? Resolves. Ping everything. Ping everything. Make some polyraptors. This time we're not going to keep going. Go to combat. Uh, Alright, go attacking. Is it another settle? I mean... Oh, Pose scoops it up. Alright. Whoo! They, <laughs> they pump fake with the settle, but they didn't have it. Oh, that was, that was pretty good. That's exactly what we were trying to do. And the sweet part of this deck is Endless Sands means even if our opponent settled, all we gotta do is Endless Sands the Polyraptor, Forerunner's not attacking, and we just run it all back again next turn. So it might have taken two combos, but we got there. We did get it done. All right, uh, against the odds time. Playing some Polyraptor Wombo Combo in Standard, and we don't have any ramp. I think we're just going to mulligan this. Okay, this is actually a lot better, and I think we'll keep a Braid. Yeah, that's fine. Dragon Skull Summit for our opponent. Well, Shelter Thicket, and pass the turn. If we draw a Dino, we can just Migration next turn. If not, we're going to have to wait a bit. Fire Bluff Canal. Opponent passes. Hmm. Well, let's just play Tapland, pass the turn. Island for our opponent, and passes. We'll play Scavenger Grounds, and yeah, let's just treasure map. Play around sensor. Main deck negates. Interesting. Opponent. Tap land. We'll play Endless Sands and Thunderherd Migration. Grab a mountain, and pass the turn. Alright, there's a Chandra. Uh, gets an op they can't cast. And passes. Well, I think we gotta do this. Let's, Hour of Promise, get some zombies. Oasis and, I guess, Desert of the Fervent. Pass the turn. Hopefully our opponent is not playing the Kobolas here. That would be very bad for us. Adds mana. Swaltering Suns, our zombies. That's also pretty bad for us. Well, that's Thunderherd Migration. Grab a Forest. Run out Forerunner of the Empire. More counters. All right. Well, pass the turn. 
Adds mana. <laughs> As foretold. Okay. Opponent passes. Well, that's Hour of Devastation. Pretty sure we're in very rough shape here. As foretold, taken up. Takes up Chandra, down to 16. Opponent passes. Well, let's register our Alpha. If we can get Chandra off the table, we might be okay. Alright, Alpha resolves. Opponent abrades Registar Alpha. Okay. Alright, abrades again. So we will just... Endless Sands. Get our Dino. Play Sheltered Thicket. Pass the turn. As we're told, taken up. Tap land for our opponent. Takes up Chandra. It's a Hostage Taker. Plays Hostage Taker. Gets rid of our Dinosaur. Opponent passes... I'll play treasure map and pass the turn. Ah, uh, the Chandra! We just cannot get out from under it. And as we're told, is actually ticking up. This is where Nicole Bolas could come down and we scoop. Adds mana. Yep, here it comes. Here it comes. Nicole Bolas, and it is concession time. Sure. Yeah, well, we're going to scoop it up. We're not going to try to fight through this and let our opponent see what's going on. We'll just go to sideboarding. So, negates Nizalwals. Go down Sweltering Suns, go down Abrades, and uh, probably go down an Hour of Devastation as well. And let's try it like that. All right, we're on the play. Oh boy. All right, we're going to try this. Hopefully we draw into our ramp. That would be wonderful. So Shelter Thicket, go. Bonnet, Canyon Slew. Uh, let's Rootbound Craig. Pass the turn. Nizalol seems insane against this deck. Bonnet, passing. Well, Cycle Shelter Thicket. More lands. Um, let's play Rootbound Craig and Treasure Map. And pass the turn. Ugh. All right. Registar Alpha. I guess we got to keep Registar Alpha. Just playing two Alphas is something. Not anywhere near sure that'll be enough, but maybe. Opponent plays an Island and passes. We'll play Endless Sands. Pass the turn. Opponent Ops. Opponent Ops. Yep. As foretold. All right. Oh, Polyraptor. Registar Alpha. Oh, attacking. Polyraptor not looking too hot at the moment. Really would have liked to ramp. And have Nizalols instead of Polyraptors. Bonnet. Nice thing about Endless Sands is it does force main phase removal to some extent. Hour of Devastation. That's main phase removal. Opponent passes. We'll play the forest. And Registar Alpha. Go attacking. And our opponent down to 14. Pass the turn. And it's so hard to cast Polyraptors without the ramp. The Scarab God. That is super bad news. And a Spire Bluff. And yup, yup, yup. We'll play Treasure Map. Play Oasis. Pass the turn. Unclear how we beat Scarab God here. Opponent taking their stuff up. Going to get back Regisar Alpha. Life is bad. Life is super bad. Scries to the top. Also super bad. Cycles Fetid Pools. Plays a Mountain. Opponent. All right, we got to take it for now. Take the hit from Scarab God. Treasure Map. Uh, this isn't going to work. Forerunner to the bottom. I just don't think it's possible we can combo off through our opponent's removal. Gift of Paradise to the bottom. Cast Thunderherd Migration. Grab an Island. Pass the turn. Aye! Opponent has Hostage Taker. Going after Registar Alpha. Well, we will. Endless Sands. Opponent Ops. Plays a Chandra. Uh, I see. Yep, and that be the game, boys and girls. Well, that was about as bad as things possibly could go. All right, against the odds time, we are polyraptoring in standard. And we're going to keep this. Hopefully it's a creature matchup. Worst case, we do have a lot of cycling lands. All right, so let's just rootbound Craig. Go. Very speculative. If our opponent's playing control, I guess at least we can uh, cycle a bunch of times. Swamp for our opponent. And passes. Well, let's play Endless Sand and pass the turn. Swamp for our opponent. And Kaizel Freebooter. Well, there goes one of our sweepers. Is this against the odds mirror? <laughs> Is this last week's against the odds deck? Takes Sweltering Suns. Uh, let's cycle Green Desert. Alright, a braid's fine-ish. Well, let's play Rootbound Craig. Pass the turn. No dinos yet. More swamps for our opponent. We're gonna take Freebooter Beads for now. Opponent gets in. 4-1. 
Yep. More freebooters. <laughs> All right, whatever. Takes a braid. Well, let's keep cycling. Cycle, shelter, thicket. Thunder and migration's not bad. I guess we just sweltering suns. Get back our cards. Play rivulet. Pass the turn. Deadlands for our opponent. Not going to be super helpful against our deck. Sheltered Thicket. Well, cast Thunderherd Migration. Grab a mountain. Play Sheltered Thicket. Pass the turn. Definitely going to hold on to Desert of the Mindful for cycling. We don't have any blue cards in our main deck, so we might as well. Opponent plays a Swamp. Opponent passes. There's Regisar Alpha. Cycle Sweltering Suns. Play the Mountain. And pass the turn. I think we're going to wait until we can leave up Endless Sands to go with our Registar Alpha to Fizzle Removal. Another Swamp. Uh, okay, Duresses. Takes the Hour of Devastation. All right, let's cycle Desert. <sighs> Keep cycling. <laughs> we're cycling so many lands. I don't really want... <sighs> I want to untap land if we get a land, or I want Ramp. All right, that's Ramp. And a Forerunner. Well, just cast Thunderherd Migration. We're going to do this the slow way. Pass the turn. Ugh. Ugh. Feel the ruin. Okay. Dream Stealer. Well, let's kill it. Play Forerunner. Alright, that's fine. Float a mana. Grab a forest. Get down Forerunner. Tutor a Polyraptor. I mean, if our opponent just has stone nothing, we got it. Registar Alpha. No damage. No damage. Get a dino. No damage. Get in with our dino. Well, we'll see. Ideally, our opponent just, like, gets back this Dream Stealer, and then we get the combo kill. Our opponent knows it's coming. They've seen all of our cards. They know Polyraptor's on top. So they might try to play around it. Land. Opponent's passing. Ugh. That definitely means removal. Well, we're going for it. Polyraptor. Let's see what our opponent's got. Enters. Okay. Frosca's Contempt takes down Polyraptor. Oh, God. Oh my god. Okay. Well, our opponent just had lots of Roska's Contempts. Get in with our Dinos. Pass the turn. Freebooter. Going to take our Braid. Ugh. Okay. Field of Ruin. Well, opponent's out of cards. Come on, Polyraptor. One time, deck. We know we got more Polyraptors. You can give it to us. You can do it, deck. You can do it. Give us a Polyraptor. Give us a Polyraptor. <gasps> wow! Thank you, deck. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our opponent played it well, but we uh, we got luck here. <laughs> you cannot beat the Polyraptor luck opponent. Ping everything. Make some Raptors. I think we will ping everything. Make some Raptors. And you know what? Let's ping everything. Make some Raptors. All right, opponent. We have seven Polyraptors. <laughs> Can you top deck something that gets out of this? It's got to be like Bontu's Last Reckoning, I guess. Oh, that was a good top deck. That was a super, super lucky top deck. <laughs> uh, good timing with the Raptors. Pass the turn. Back to you, opponent. Back to you. And our opponent scoops it up. Yeah. Uh, seven Poly Raptors is a lot. That is hard for most decks to beat. I kind of want Nizalls. Nizalls seems sweet. And maybe instead of a Braids, we play Sand Stranglers. Go down like a couple of Sweltering Suns. Maybe we just go two Nizalls because we can tutor them up. Let's try it like, let's try it like that. Uh, all right. We got the Migration. <laughs> <laughs> and a Nizalul. Am I saying that right now, finally? Am I finally saying Nizalul correctly? I feel like I'm not, but I hope I am. <laughs> well, kind of hope. <laughs> I'd be okay if I was. Deadlands. Not usually the land you want to start with. Mountain, go. Swamp. Ooh, Bloodfast. Interesting. Well, play Rootbound Craig. Let's start the Thunderherd. Reveal Nizalul. Get an island. Pass the turn. We might have trouble getting blue mana until we find, well, I mean, our promise, gift to paradise. Ship the turn, see what our opponent's up to. Swamp. And... Ugh, Dream Stealer. I do not love that card. Especially on the opponent's side of the battlefield. Well, that's Thunderherd Migration. Grab a forest. Play Oasis, pass the turn. Yeah, we're gonna have to start discarding here. Field of Ruin. Bone it. Gets in. Yeah, we will discard... Uh, I guess it's Nizalol. I really want to cast it. And Gonti, Lord of... Oh, man. Not our Nizalol. And opponent can refill with Bloodfast. 
Our Devastation. Play the land. Pass the turn. Another Deadlands. Treasure map. Oh, it's our treasure map. All right. Yeah. Opponent scries to the top. Lay bare the heart. Okay. They might take Regisar because it's the most, yeah, it's the most immediately scary card. Opponent passes. And we will, Hour of Promise, get Scavenger Grounds and Desert of the Mindful. Opponent. Yeah, Honey's Expertise. Kills our zombies. Ugh. And Doomfall. Yikes. Tags our Hour of Promise. Scries with treasure map. Oh, it's really sad to see our opponent going off with our treasure map. Opponent to the bottom. And passes. Well, let's forerunner. Get Nizalal. And then Scavenger Grounds. Sack Oasis. Get rid of the Dream Stealer. Pass the turn. Opponent. Treasure maps. Flips it around. And passes. Well, it is time. It is time. It is time. This is what we've been waiting for. And it's all all the Primal Tide. Not a Polyraptor, but it's pretty sweet. Opponent draws a card. Fatal Pushes. That's a good draw. Draws a card. That means if our opponent finds a Doomfall, then get rid of Nizal all. Well, let's pass. Fatal Push was a pretty good hit for our opponent. Come on. Come on. No, no Doomfalls. No Doomfalls. Draws a card with our treasure cove from our treasure map. Draws a card. Come on. No. No doom falls. No doom falls. Unburden. I guess that's kind of a combo. We draw. Yeah. We draw one, discard two. Opponent passes. Oasis. Well, get in with our Nizalal. And our opponent down to seven. Or four seven. Down to six. Pass the turn. This means our opponent can't draw too many extra cards, but if they kill our Nizalal, it's so bad. We're so close. We can't blink it right now. Because we don't have... Alright, draws a card. We don't have enough cards in hand to blink it. Opponent draws a card to four. No Doom Falls. No Doom Falls. No Choops. Draws to two. No cho No Doom Fall. No Doom Fall. Choops off the table. Do we get there with Nizalal? Our backup sideboard dino for the win? Maybe? And our opponent scoops it up. Sweet. Got the GG's. Got the GG's. Well, one Polyraptor, one Nizala. We'll take it. All kinds of dinos doing their thing. <laughs> sweet. Ooh, sweet. So why don't we learn this week about Polyraptor combo for standard. And overall, got in five matches, won three of them for 60% match win percentage. As far as games, we played exactly 10. Every single one of our matches, we either won 2-0 or lost 2-0. So we ended up winning 6 of 10, also exactly 60%, which is a little bit above average for an against odds deck. So as far as just wins and losses, the deck worked pretty well. The combo itself is pretty effective assuming nothing goes wrong removal does fizzle it so it's kind of about picking our spots or running our opponent out of removal to make it happen and the odds of winning once we combo were very high i think there was one time we got settled the wreckage and we still went on to win that game the next turn because we just reassembled the combo but i think that the combo is pretty game winning the problem is neither of the combo pieces are all that great on their own for an earth empire eh, i mean it's okay ish to, in some matchups polyraptor not really great unless we're making a bunch of polyraptors so that's kind of the downside is together the cards are super good when we don't get blown out but independently both of the combo pieces are kind of mediocre at best so i was most impressed by some of the lands actually the desert packages were very good scavenger grounds was super key against god pharaoh's gift and endless sands was a surprise all-star in our deck i was not expecting endless sands to be so good but it was actually very very strong in our deck being able to save our combo pieces from removal and then eventually reassemble them so i'm interested in exploring endless sands more because like i said i was surprised at how good it was so overall the deck was reasonably good i think there's a question as to i don't know we're a pretty typical ramp deck if we were winning with other big dinosaurs gishath or something or waking sun's avatar or carnage tyrant or the red avatar any of those things like is that better or worse than polyraptor i'm not 100 percent sure so we were definitely focused on polyraptor i think you could make a deck that included polyraptor and wasn't 100 percent build around it like build a regular dino ramp deck and have polyraptor be as just like a one of or something 
something. But that's not how Against the Odds works. I think if you're going to take a deck like this to an FNM, I might try to vary it a little bit more and just be like a Foreigner the Empire Tutor deck with a bunch of different dinosaur options and Polyraptor being one of them. So if we're in a position where we feel like we can combo off, we can tutor up Polyraptor. But if we're not going to combo off, we can tutor up Waking Sun's Avatar, tutor up stuff like that. One of the challenges is when you consider how much ramp you need to cast a Polyraptor, along with needing to have removal to stay alive, so the Braids, the Sweltering Suns, the Auro Devastation, there's not actually that much room left around for big things. That's one of the ramp challenges, I guess, is being able to find the right mixture of finishers, of ramp, of removal, and I feel like we hit that mix pretty well, but it would be hard to just play like eight other dinosaurs in the deck without cutting back too far on ramp, not being able to cast stuff, cutting down too far on removal, not being able to kill stuff, so I feel like we hit a good mix. I think the deck was fun. Comboing off was super sweet. Just making seven Polyraptors out of nowhere was a really effective plan for winning the game. So overall, pretty happy with how Polyraptor turned out. It was fun. We picked up a reasonable amount of wins, and we got to show off a super sweet combo that worked out more often than I would have expected to, knowing that we got to resolve the eight mana Polyraptor and make it work. We were actually able to do that a lot of the time. So anyway, that's been our against odds for this week. Polyraptor combo for standard. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.